Today is the 15th of October. The other day, I went to this place called Ollie's, where they sell lots of cheap stuff, and some Earthrise toys were shelf warming, so I picked up a few. I'm going to start off with Rung. He is this tiny little guy who may or may not be monumentally important in the comics. And he turns into what the comics told me is a, some kind of crystal generator. Whatever purpose that serves. Maybe he works at a jewelry store. He has these real neat effect parts you can plunk on his front. And it looks like he's, you know, doing his thing. It's a real neat design to it. This blue bit right into the hair, which is probably some kind of power source. Very minimal sculpting, but it gets the job done. Has a real neat, what I assume is a stock area, so you can rest against your shoulder as you're using it. And are you ready for this transformation? Because you're going to be disappointed. You don't be small, what do you expect? I am going to show you his very, very distinctive face sculpt. Big round eyes like he's wearing goggles. This guy's a theme of roundness, I find. The eyes, this thing, the shoulders, the cogs on his legs. This giant thing. Real neat stuff. Doesn't move very much, but he wasn't very expensive or big. He has a waist swivel though, that's neat. Let's admire some of the sculpting. Very IDW it is. Now see this. This thing is Slitherfang. He is a ramp. There were other toys in Earthrise which had these connecting points where you can get this and a lot of other guys and connect them up to film for bases. So that was neat. Too bad I never got many of them. Here and here. Now are you ready for this epic third mode? Well, that was anticlimactic. There. He's a shield now. Lamest triple changer ever. But he's a very nice color, at least. Get to see more of that in his very interesting robot mode. He's a snake. There have been like three total in all Transformers, to my knowledge. All of them Cobras. That's probably because, well, there's this big hunk of thing on the neck of it. So we can use that. Except it ends up as kibble every single time. Okay. Very, almost bird-like eyes, I find. How interesting. These things are really neat. They remind me of Sunstreaker's things. Where, you know, it's all weird shape and they got lines going through. He's surprisingly puzzle for his size. Rung is looking... Mighty stingy right about now. Check out these tank treads. These kind of totally defeat the purpose of him being a snake. The whole point is to slither around on your own, not have this big mound right here do it for you. Another disappointing thing. Uh, his mouth doesn't open. I don't even think it's a separate part. What a letdown. But he has an explosion thing, so everything's better. These, uh, Target and my Battle Masters, Ugh, stupid names, they're pretty neat. They're, uh, tons of fun when you have a few of them. I'd say, uh, if you go to one of these old discount stores, you'll probably find some. So, how about them? I'm gonna 